A Chinese proposal to build an entire city on an island close to Australia has escalated concerns about defence and security in the region. The $39 billion project would see a port and industrial zone built on Daru in Papua New Guinea's western province. Prime Minister Scott Morrison says for now it's speculation, but residents of the Torres Strait are taking it seriously. PNG correspondent Natalie Whiting reports. Daru might be right on Australia's doorstep, but it's miles away in terms of living standards. We lack development and poverty is really a, a big problem. A multi-billion dollar proposal from a Chinese company to build a new Daru city is promising, rather ambitiously, to change that. Daru is only a few hours boat ride from the closest Australian island and only 200 kilometres from the mainland, closer than it is to the PNG capital. So it's unsurprising the Chinese proposal is attracting interest in Canberra. I'm not surprised by it, but I think at this stage it would best defile it under speculation. The company has written directly to PNG's Prime Minister, but he says he's unaware of the proposal. The proposal says it would cover 100 square kilometres and include a resort and residential area, but it's the industrial zone and port that has security experts concerned about defence and strategic threats. We shouldn't be blasé about this. Across the water in the Torres Strait, people are taking it seriously. We've really got to look at what are the implications culturally, socially and economically. We have big projects that always come up in PNG and uh, most of them never uh, really quite eventuate. This is the second major Chinese proposal for Daru, with another company looking to set up a fish processing facility there. That plan at least has some level of government endorsement. But neither are guaranteed to actually eventuate. Regardless, the mere proposals and the discussions with regional and national governments in PNG puts pressure on Australia, and not just when it comes to infrastructure. On Twitter today, China's foreign ministry announced it would be providing a batch of COVID-19 vaccines to PNG. But the PNG government says it hasn't agreed to that. Australia's already committed $144 million to providing jabs in the country. The pointy end of geopolitics. Natalie Whiting, ABC News, Port Moresby.